Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Dying Light 2 video. So all my homies remember back in the day, I made a video where I rank every outfit in the game. But since then, we have had the addition of several new outfits, so that list has been kind of outdated. So today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 outfits in Dying Light 2 and how to get them. Some of them are a bit tricky to get, but if you just do as I say in the video, you should be fine. But before we continue, I was doing some research on my channel and I realized that 91% of you watching are not subscribed. 91%! So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed go down there and hit the subscribe button right now technically we could hit 10k just from this video if you guys just go down there and press subscribe anyway let's get back to the video at number 10 we have got the game over outfit this outfit isn't actually out yet but it's a pretty decent outfit it's an rk style outfit with a very retro vibe to it that i like it's very unique with vibrant colors that complement each other very well aiden also has a cool mask and a hat with some nice goggles on top on his left wrist he has a nice watch which looks good in first person but the highlight of this outfit is on the right arm which is filled with electronical equipment it looks really cool and also glows up in game so overall a pretty solid outfit which i wouldn't mind rocking but definitely not the best as i said the outfit is not out yet so you cannot obtain this outfit as of the date of this video now we move on to number nine and here we have the mercenary outfit now this one is a bit more simple compared to the game over outfit but i really do like the way it looks this one also has gear pieces for each part which is a plus in this outfit aiden looks like a military soldier the duffel bag around the hip is a nice addition to the outfit as well i also do like the color scheme the black complements the green very well yeah no shit it's a military outfit and i like the mask that is on the outfit overall it is not a very standout outfit but it's clean and i do not mind it the only issue with it is that it's a bit basic so in order to get this outfit you must cut off your leg take it to a butcher preferably in china then see how much they'll buy it from you for once you get that money invest it into a savings account come back in two years time and you will have acquired an additional eight percent in interest you will then use that money to buy one pack of 500 dying light points and then two packs of 100 dying light points after that simply purchase the outfit and you're finished eight for our list we have got the reload outfit now i've got good news and bad news with this one the good news is that it's a very cool outfit with a nice look and a clean finish and if you already own it you are very lucky now where this outfit mostly shines is in the first person perspective in first person this outfit looks really good and the arms have a really nice texture the streams of red throughout the outfit really complements it well and it has a nice finish now for the bad news i hate to say it but you cannot get this outfit anymore this outfit was a pre-order bonus only and there is no current way to obtain this outfit so apologies if you want to get this but you will not be able to unless you pre-order Dying Light 2 before launch. There is one current issue with the outfit as well though. If you look down while doing parkour or paragliding, you can actually see through the chest. It's completely see-through. Now this has been here since the launch of the game and when I first played it, but I guess it was never talked about. So yeah, that needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Okay, here we are at the number seven spot on our list. Now this one may be very subjective as I'm a huge fan of this game. I'm talking about none other than the Payday Gang outfit. For those of you who didn't know, Payday 2 is a four player co-op heist game where you basically strategically rob banks or safe houses to get cash a little mini ad there you're welcome payday i personally do not only like the game that it comes from but i also like the outfit itself the mask combined with a suit and gloves just looks really nice with the surgical gloves on and in first person it's pretty nice it's not too interesting since it's just a suit with some blue gloves but it is pretty clean another thing about the mask in this outfit is that it doesn't actually look just like the payday 2 one it's mainly around the eyes where it falls flat since you can see his eyeballs and it looks really weird it looks creepy But I still put it at number 8, which may be biased due to the fact I love Payday, but hey, it's my list. Now at number 6, we have got the Elite Urban Hunter. The outfit you get from Sheng Chu, who is the Chapter 2 vendor. I probably said that wrong and absolutely butchered that name, but bear with me. If you go to the vendor tab, you will see that once you reach Agent Rank 10, you can actually collect the outfit for free. Now what I like about the outfit is the wastelandish vibe it has. Also combined with the suburban look created by the graffiti on the clothing. This combined with the spiked boots gloves and the chains all over the body is an awesome outfit and it's definitely worth picking up first person view does not disappoint either at number five we have got the dying laugh outfit this outfit first came out at the halloween event however you can now purchase it on the dying light store for 300 dying light points and since you get 500 free dying light points you might as well buy this one if you don't plan on spending any more money on the game i love how he has ears along the chain on his chest and on his jacket i also like the spiked arms and of course the mask the eyes also glow in game which is a very nice addition to the outfit 
outfit. Although I must say he needs to go to the dentist, bro. But all in all, it is a very unique outfit that is menacing and creepy, yet still funny with a clean finish. I very much like the color scheme that this outfit has going. The red combined with the white and the turquoise blue is a very nice choice of color. There is also the subtle hints of dark blue on this outfit that add to the overall finish. All of this topped off with a nice layer of blood as that manacle charm. At the number four spot, we have got the Fire Devil suit. This is obtained from the Dying Light store for 750 Dying Light points. This outfit looks like a red Power Ranger mixed with a Stormtrooper and provides fire resistance if you use the gear pieces. Definitely a standout outfit and armor set. So what is so cool about this suit is the fact that the braces exhale fire from them. The gloves also glow, which makes for a very nice first person perspective. Now to get this, you must start on OnlyFans and post feet pics consistently for two years. Once you have gained a decent following, withdraw your money and use half of it to buy Dying Light points. Then use the rest to pay for your therapy after seeing the remaining Dying Light points that you can't buy anything with. Now at number three is the Vampire Masquerade outfit that will be coming with the Vampire Masquerade event in Halloween. This event will be coming on the 23rd of October and the outfit looks very cool. I also like that we are not playing as Aiden but instead as this very cool looking vampire guy. This outfit is very dark but sleek which I really like. I'm a fan of minimalistic outfits and this one is just that. Where this outfit really shines is at night time where the eyes and knife on his back glows up red. Now what I'm most concerned about for this Vampire Masquerade outfit coming is the fact that the items from the event are going to be purchasable. I really hope that the event will give us a chance to actually get this outfit for free instead of putting it behind a bundle afterwards or just giving us like a random thing that nobody really wants for the event and then putting the rest behind a paywall. When Dying Light 2 first came out, the events that we got would give you the whole bundle for free. I feel like we should just be able to get the whole bundle for free, you know what I mean? If we participate in the event instead of having to pay for it. Anyway, now at number two is the Savage Samurai outfit. This outfit isn't actually out yet, but it has been data mined. I know it's coming soon as part of a purchasable bundle from the Dying Light shop. Modders are also able to get their hands in this outfit and use it, so we have some gameplay of it. I think the whole concept of this outfit is very cool. Samurais in general are just very cool looking, but this Samurai has a wastelandish vibe to it, which looks dope. This bundle will also give you armor pieces, which is nice if you want to combine it with some other gear pieces. So yeah, a personal favorite of mine, but will definitely cost an arm and leg to buy when it comes out in the future. Now, now, before we get to the number one spot, I've got an honorable mention that was a contender for number one, but didn't quite make it. And that is the Nimble Ninja outfit from another purchasable bundle in the Dying Light store. This outfit is very nice and has a very nice twist in the classic ninja vibe, but adding a very post-apocalyptic feel to it. I also love the, the first person point of view with the ropes around the arm. In general, it's just a very nice outfit and definitely one of the best in the game so far. At number one, we have the best outfit in the game. Now, if you know me, you already know which outfit this is. And of course, it is the hooded Knight Runner outfit, AKA the E3 outfit. This is obtained from Harper, who you find at the Fisheye. In order to get this outfit, you need to level up your vendor level by completing bounties for him and also doing his elite missions. This outfit is just so clean and cool looking. It's minimalistic, but a very classic and iconic design. This outfit has always been the face of Dying Light 2 and will always be a special outfit for many players. And for other Others, it's just a reminder of the game we were promised back in 2019. So there you have it, my updated top 10 outfits in Dying Light 2. I'm sure some of you disagree with me, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next time. Peace. I'll see you in the next time, blood. What?